So you need someone to get that in Jamaica. And the person we trusted wasn't being fair. The person is still living, so I'm not at liberty to speak his name. But he lives in St. Elizabeth. He's married to an American citizen. So he could get his money in. However, they had a disagreement some time ago. So I guess he was just biding his time. I met this person before. And he's very, very fake and superficial. I disliked him. In fact, he repulsed me. He also tried to set up someone else the same way he did Bobby Nile. But that person was smart and decided, you know what? Let me cut all ties. Sever it at the neighbor's string. I will not speak to you no more. And you not to me either, as long as we both shall draw breath. And this is my assumption now. This isn't facts, what I'm about to tell you. But anyhow, this person who should collect the money wasn't being fair and decided to set him up that set up Bobby and I. The reason why I believe that this person has a hand in this I spoke to multiple people and they told me don't tell him anything because why? They didn't trust him. I was calling him to figure out you know what happened and he refused to answer his phone. 